And today marks the last day of the Pipe Stem and Resorts free Shakespeare in the Park and the Appalachian Shakespeare Project's 4th of July performance as As You Like It this year. However, our Clayton McChesney shows us that this isn't your granddaddy Shakespeare. The Appalachian Shakespeare Project has been holding performances for more than a decade, alternating every year between the Bard's tragedies and comedies. This year they performed As You Like It, one of Shakespeare's romantic comedies about a girl running away from home and the unusual relationship that blossoms in the woods. However, this version moves the time period, setting the story in the 1960s, something the leads say has been a success with both the audience and performers. It's very unique. It's definitely very interesting. Every year we do try to do um, a kind of different era, I guess, even though it's all Shakespeare. And honestly, I'm just loving the colors. I'm loving the music. It's all really awesome. <laughs> they absolutely enjoy it. They get a couple laughs every now and then. It's wonderful to hear. Mm -hmm. The director of the performance, who also plays the Duchess Freda, says putting a different twist on classic Shakespeare stories helps convey the story visually and may make the story more approachable for modern audiences. It's an opportunity to experience classical theater with kind of a twist on it. Uh, if they want to see, put their toe in, see if this is something they like, this is the perfect venue because it's free. Uh, a lot of people are surprised that one, they could understand what was going on and two, they liked it. James and Castro say people have enjoyed their performances so far, commenting on the chemistry between the couples and the cool fight scenes. Harvey gives thanks to everyone involved in the performance for creating something special. Here for you in Pipe Stem, I'm Clayton McChesney, WVBA News. Thanks, Clayton. If you would like to see this performance for yourself, you'll have a couple more opportunities. They will be performing in front of the Alexander Fine Arts Building on Concord University on Friday, July 26th and Saturday, July 27th at 6 p.m.